hey what is going on guys welcome back to another video and today we're gonna talk about middlewares in express which is a server side framework for node.js middlewares are basically native to express today we're gonna talk about how do we create our own middlewares and when do you actually need a middleware so before talk, uh, talking about how do you create a middleware and how do you make node.js or express to use it We'll first try to understand what middleware is really are. So uh, this is your request and this is your response. This is response which is going outwards and this is the request which is coming in and there are a bunch of functions which are basically middleware. So at a very high level this box right here represents middleware. So these are just a couple of functions which are between your request and response. So this is a very simple definition of middlewares. Uh, if you want to know more, you can just go through express documentation. But I think this is enough to, to understand what I'm going to talk about right now. So let's just talk about a use case where you would like to use uh, middleware. So you have a cool Node.js API that you have written using express and in and then you have a bunch of secure resources. So Maybe after login, you are giving out a JWT to the user and on each request, you kind of grab the JWT from the request headers and pass it and check whether the JWT is valid or not. And if it is invalid, you just throw out a uh, maybe a 403 or a 401 uh, unauthorized or forbidden access uh, errors to the client. So wherever you have want to access a secure resource, you kind of validate the JWT. So Whenever you are writing an endpoint uh, which has to validate a JWT, what's going to happen is the same function is going to be a part of each of your secure resource handler. So you have secure resource one, secure resource two, secure resource three and secure resource four. So each of these will have this function which will be called. So the code is getting repeated. This is not something that you want, right? So you just want it to be taken care before it reaches this endpoint, before it reaches this handler. And that you can do very, very easily with middleware. So I think this is one of the most common use cases of using a middleware. You just take out what is common in a bunch of uh, resource or bunch of endpoints and you kind of push it into its own middleware. So let's let's just take a look at a very simple middleware that I've written. So this is uh, model.exports because it's node. So you have validate JWT and it takes in request response and next. So basically you have access to the request which is being made, the response and next. This is the function which is currently being run. Next we'll call this function which is in line of uh, in line of the execution of the whole request. So next would call the next function or the next middleware. So you have that passed to uh, each middleware that we would uh, use. So this is kind of the func function signature for uh, a middleware. So I have request response and next and then you can you have access to basically everything and you can do whatever stuff you want to do and uh, call in next and it will just then be passed on to the next uh, middleware. What this basically does is it validates a JWT. So suppose if you are using the standard library, then you would probably use JWT dot validate JWT function. And then it would tell you whether it was a valid JWT, whether it was compromised JWT or it will basically validate it for you. Basically what happens in this middleware is basically you take in the URL to which the request is being made. So you can access that using the uh, using the URL property of request. And if it includes some uh, some secure resource, then you would run this code. So what this and uh, what this really achieves is basically you can remove all of this code, which is getting repeated in all of these resources. And maybe you can make an array and then check whether request.url is a part of that particular array. And that array will have all of these names of all these secure resources. Even if you add a new secure resource here, you just have to make sure that you get, just add it into the array. So really maintainable solution, easy and reduces uh, lines of code and it's really clean. This is how you define a middleware and you can have multiple of these. And then in the server, you can just say, you can just require this custom middleware and you can just say app.use custom dot 
validate JWT. App.use takes in a function whenever a request is being made. So it will first go to this function. Uh, it will execute it and then it will go to the respective handlers. So even if you do any unsecure resource uh, request, it will still go through this middleware. So you have to be very, very careful. So I hope you guys are staying indoors and uh, maintaining proper hygiene and we'll get out of this really, really quick. I hope. I really hope so. Uh, so yeah, there are more videos coming out really, really soon. If you want me to make videos on one particular topic, do comment that uh, below. And if I'm comfortable with that topic, then I'll 100% try to make a video on that. So yeah, thank you guys for joining and I'll see you guys in the next one.